Just like square roots, cube roots can also be put in simplest radical form. Instead of looking for groups of 2, just look for groups of 3. So 72 is 8 times 9. So we could rewrite this as the cube root of 8 times 9. Now if this was the square root, we would rewrite 9 as 3 squared. But where this is the cube root, so let's write Let's rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. So we have 2 cubed times 9. Now this cube, we can cancel it out, move this 2 out front, and we end up with 2 times the cube root of 9. 128 is 64 times 2, so we could rewrite this as 64 times 2. Now 64 is 4 cubed, so we could rewrite that as 4 cubed times 2, cancel out that cube, move this 4 out front, and we have 4 times the cube root of 2. 250 is 125 times 2, so we have cube root of 125 times 2. Now 125 is 5 cubed, so let's rewrite this. 5 cubed times 2, so we cancel out this cubed, move this 5 out front. Now there's already a negative 4 there, so negative 4 times 5 is negative 20 times the cube root of 2, which is left over. 48 is 6 times 8, so we can rewrite this as 8 times 6. We could rewrite 8 as 2 cubed. 2 cubed times 6, and then we cancel out this cube, take that 2, move it out front, and we have negative 12 times the cube root of 6. And here are all of the answers. The techniques and methods for solving square roots of variables, fractions, and decimals also work with cube roots. No absolute value signs are needed when using an odd index. Therefore, the answers for cube roots will not require absolute values. Alright, so let's rewrite this as the cube root of m squared to the third power. That way we can cancel out the cube root and the cube, and we are left with m squared. Here we can rewrite this as the cube root of, so s to the fifth power cubed, so then we can cancel out the 3 and the cube root, and we are left with s to the fifth power. Here we can take the cube root of the top, and then just divide that by the cube root of the bottom. We can separate it into two radicals. The cube root of negative 8 is negative 2, and the cube root of 27 is 3. And there we go. Put in simplest radical form. Alright, so let's rewrite this. So 16 is 8 times 2, so we can rewrite this as 8 times 2, but instead of 8, we'll write 2 to the third power times 2. 2 to the third power is 8, times 2 is 16. Now, then we'll, we're going to rewrite m to the fifth power as m to the third power times m to the second power, because then you add those together, you get m to the fifth power. And n to the fourth power, we will rewrite as n to the third power times n. All right, so now we can cancel out that cube right there. Take this 2, move it out front. This 2 is left over. Cancel out that third, move this m out front, and we have this m squared left over. Here we can cancel out that third, take this n, move it out front, and we have this n left over, which gives us 2 m n times the cube root of whatever's left. So 2 m squared n. All right, moving on. 48 is 6 times 8, so we can rewrite this as 2 cubed, which is 8, times 6. And we can put in a negative sign here. And then we have p to the 13th power. So let's make this p to the 12th power times p. p to the 12th power is p to the fourth power cubed, and then one more p. So this is the same thing as p to the thirteenth power. We have p to the fourth cubed times p. And then we just have this q left over that we can't do anything with. So where, do, where does that leave us? So here we have negative two cubed. So let's take that cubed out, move that negative two out front. So we have negative two. Leave behind the six. We can cancel out that cubed, move this p to the fourth out front. Alright, we have a p left over and a q left over. So then we have all this multiplied by the cube root of 6 times p times q. Alright, 
moving on, we have, we can divide this up into two different parts. So let's do the cube root of 2 cubed times 3. So 2 cubed is 8 times 3 is 24. Then j to the 4th power cubed is j to the 12th. And then we'll divide that by the cube root of k to the 3rd power cubed, because that is k to the ninth power. So then what do we have? We can take that out, move this 2 out front, eliminate that cubed, take this j to the 4th power out front. So then we have 2 times j to the 4th power times the cube root of 3. And down here, we can take that cubed out. It eliminates all of that, leaving just k to the 3rd on the bottom. And finally, we have this one. 2 times the cube root of negative, so we have, let's break it up into a to the 6th times uh, a to the, times just 1a. So we're going to want 2 in here, like this, cubed times a. So then that will, we can eliminate that cube there. This is still a to the 7th times b to the 3rd. So we're going to eliminate this cubed. We'll move this negative a squared out front. So we have 2, negative 2, a squared. And then we have an a left over inside. We have this b cubed. So we can eliminate that cube, move that b out front. And so we have just a left over like that. And there are our answers.